Hi, this is Stephanie Farron, the Technology Facilitator at Butler High School, and this quick video tutorial is for teachers about managing and creating your own unique course content in Edgenuity. So in this video, we are going to cover what courses are currently available in Edgenuity, how you can customize those courses to fit your specific needs by customizing the content and the course options, such as grade weights, thresholds, and time limits. So the first thing we're all going to do is we're going to log into Edgenuity. You log into Edgenuity by opening a web browser and either going to www.edgenuity.com and then clicking the top right hand corner for login or go directly to the login page which is learn.education2020.com. We're going to log in as educators now with our 10 digit UID and our password. Once we log into Edgenuity we're going to go to the courses tab at the top of the screen. We can do two things we can look at the courses and we can look at and we can manage the courses. So we're going to go down to course structures first so we can see what courses are available. Courses are arranged by the content so you can sort them by VT, AP, or World Language and Common Core and Elective and Pathways or you can scroll through them. We're going to be looking for courses uh, primarily for dealing with our own class that say NC since, so that way we know they're aligned to this North Carolina Standard Courses Study. If the courses say Butler then that means that these are courses that we have created specifically for our Butler students that also have the North Carolina Standard Courses Study. Um, so those are also be good ones to look at. So we're going to find the course we want and we can select it. So let's look at this Butler North Carolina Common Core English 2 course. When I click it, it's going to open the layout of the course. I can click each one of these and I can find the exact time and, and information about it. So here's the application skills lecture. When I click it, it can actually open it for me so I can preview it and see what it looks like. I can also pull the course document. The course document is going to be a PDF which will see the scope and alignment of the course itself and what is going to be covered. So as a teacher I can open up the download and see the PDF and it'll take a minute for it to open and that way I can see this information. I want to make sure that this is stuff I want. Now perhaps I only want one part of this course for my students. So in that case we're going to create our own course not use this one. Um, so that way I can use it more specifically for my students. So we're going to go back in Edgenuity okay, and instead of looking at course structures we're going to manage courses. When you're in your managed courses, you can filter through all the courses, okay? So it helps if you either filter by subject area or grade level, okay, to find the course that applies to you. Um, I'd recommend if this is the first time you're using it, perhaps you want to start with the ones that already are labeled Butler that we've already been using for credit recovery. So if I want to look at that same one, that English 1, maybe Butler credit recovery course, I'll select the course. Now I can simply enroll students from right here, but I'm enrolling them based on the current parameters of this class. If I want to make it fit my needs, I'm going to customize. And when I customize, you all are going to create a new course based on this topic. Okay, um, the course to be unique, you have to change the name of the course. I do recommend that you put Butler in front of it, perhaps also your name. Okay, and it will tell you that right here. It won't let you adjust the course until you click the pencil and you adjust the name. I would click keep most of the, the name the same but maybe add your first name um, and that way when you're going to search for your course you know that that is the course you're looking for. Okay, when I'm at the customizing course page then it shows me the expected number of hours for the student to work through the course. This one's 46 hours, 43 minutes, the exact number of lessons or units, and the exact number of activities. Now I can open each one of these to see the activities and which ones are turned on and turned off by the check mark. Okay, so for example this compare and contrast is currently turned off. So if I only want to do say one unit in my course, I can make a course that is just on mythology, add this unit, delete all the other parts and hit save and then I just have that one unit mythology that I could then assign to my students which would be two hours and 24 minutes okay currently I can filter by activity types 
And when I click the see all, I can see that warm-ups are one, instruction is one, short writing, assignments, essays, summary, and quizzes are up there. Right now in this course, they have test review and test turned off for these activities. Um, but I can turn them back on. Maybe I only want my students to test in Edgenuity based on the materials. I also, as a teacher, can add my own personal individual activities into a course. And I'll show you that in a minute. So if this course is the way I want it to be, I'm not going to make any other changes. I will scroll to the bottom and hit publish the course. Once I publish the course, anyone in Butler will be able to see this course. Okay, and I'm going to hit publish and then return to customization. The next part it's going to ask me to do is check the course options. The course options are very important because these are the things that the course is set up. So by default, these are the passing thresholds. In other words, students must make a 60 on the quizzes in order to pass the course. And then here are the grading weights for each of the assignments to equal 100. You can change these grading weights as you want. Okay, and hit submit. Okay, under assessment options, enabling spiral and review means that if a student fails one part, it Edgenuity will pop the kid back to a previous part where they were missing the material to then go through it again. Um, that's a choice. You can allow them to save or exit the quizzes or view and hide the questions and allowing e-notes. Now the options here, if you save and exit quizzes or tests, it allows the students to uh, exit and then come back. Now in all Edgenuity courses, you can come in and on the fly make changes. So say you need to add a unit, they didn't understand something in mythology, you could go in and do that on the fly as the students are working. Automatic progression means that they move on. These are the number of failed attempts for each assessment. Uh, it's set a default as two. You can add as many as you want as a teacher individually to the student or to the whole class. Um, you can do a grading method I automatically like doing a grade, but um, as a teacher you can go in and review each of the activities and manually change the grade if you want. Teacher review. By default, Edgenuity's teacher review courses, if they've been set up from North Carolina standards and CMS, um, is that exams and tests will not be unlocked until teachers are, are allowing the student to do that, so that's really good. Allowing free movement here, this is important because if you want the students, if you want to give them all of the ninth grade English 1 course and allow free movement, then they can self-select and go through the units that they need help with. If it's not selected, the students must navigate through each unit in the order that they are in in order to progress through the course. So that's kind of a, a teacher choice. Pre-testing, this is what's automatically turned on if it's a credit recovery course. The way pre-testing works is for each unit, the student gets 10 questions of a pre-test. If the student matches the threshold of 80, then they are exempted from the pre-test of that unit. Okay, you can choose whether or not the students see the correct answers in the quiz review. There are more questions in the quiz review than choices, so if the students have two attempts, they will not necessarily get the same questions again. You can set a time limit for the assessments, and you also can set a start and end time for the course. This is extremely important because this will set the information uh, for your course organizer and how many thing, items the students need to complete at each time. Prescriptive pretesting is what you'll have at the beginning or things that you want, and you also can add a course code enrollment. So you'll change these and submit changes. Once you finish that, it will ask you if you want your students to be assigned to the course, if you want to assign them right here, or if you want to update this course if students are already assigned to it. Um, that's why changing the name is so important. You don't want to change the settings of a course that students are currently enrolled in to affect all the students in Edgenuity. So make sure you make your own course um, or update the course and the students in the group. Okay. So once you do this, then you can assign your course to your student. Okay, so if I want to assign this to a student, I can go back in to my students, manage my students. Once I'm there, I can select the students that I want to assign them to. I click their courses. Right here are the courses they have. If I'm adding a course, I can click add a course. I will navigate to the course. Um, the thing I like about it is when I add a new um, course it always goes to the very last page of all the courses because it's a new one and then I'd select that course add it to that student 
Okay, so now that student has my course. I can add multiple ones. I can add it to a whole group of students, and then that student would have my course. So if I look at her courses, she's going to have my course here. Okay, and then from here, I can manage the course, what the students are doing, how they're currently involved, adding retakes, looking at the grade book, uh, customizing the assessments on the fly as a student goes. So this is a way that you can take a course or content that's in Edgenuity and make it your own and make it apply uniquely to you.